and welcome to this An Actor Thomas video with me, of course, Actor Thomas. Now, today, obviously, I'm somewhere not where I normally would be. Of course, I am standing in front of the map of Westeros from HBO's Game of Thrones or George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series. Now, today I thought Let's see where I would like to live. If I was a part of this world, where would I come from? Now, of course, people who know me probably know that I hate being too hot, hate being too cold, so evidently the North and Dawn are out of the question. Which, fair enough, I can understand, they're not very nice. Um. King's Landing, I don't think I want to go anywhere near King's Landing. Don't like big cities, not feeling it, don't really like it. No, not having that. Right. Um The Westerlands, so you've got Lannisport and places like that. Um a bit kind of kind of, you know, kind of posh and quite full of money and think they're a little bit higher than they really are. Don't really like the sound of that either. Not really feeling it. Now, um, then you've got uh, the Iron Islands, which, like I said earlier on, similarly similarly to um, Dawn and the North, either very hot or very cold, and also they're very wet, because obviously they're in the sea, and I'm not really feeling that either. Also, not massive fan of basically being a pirate, so don't think I'll be doing that either. Then, of course, then you've got the Stormlands. Which is actually quite, a, I think they'd be quite nice, um, you know, very, you know, looks quite nice, it's um, very, by the sea it'd be quite nice. Relatively close to the um, capital city, so that could be quite clever, but I don't really think so. The place where I think I'd really like to be from is the Vale. Now, I must say, it seems quite, you know, it looks very nice, obviously you've got the, uh, you know, got all the mountains there, you've got, you know, kind of, all that sort of, you've got, you know, it's... They're quite hardy people, which I think I would do quite well with. Um, I think it would be... You know, obviously, they they seem they all seem quite skilled. They, you know, obviously, it's, it just seems to be like that perfect sort of area of... They're not too... Kind of, they're not too far away from anything, but they're not too close to anything as well. So they're... They're that sort of in that middle section. Obviously, they're very close to the King's Road, so if you do need to go off and quickly get to somewhere, you can quickly get from wherever you need to be to wherever you need to go, which is always very helpful. But there is... Um, obviously, then you've got, you know, kind of other little things like that. Obviously, you have to... Like I say, you've got to think about the mountains. And the mountains, obviously, there's obviously all those those tracks to get up to those mountains and all that all that all the way through and all the you know kind of up to the the area and all that sort of stuff and it, yeah, that's obviously quite you know very protective and all that sort of stuff and that's great and obviously if you were from the Vale you would know all the quick routes and all the best ways of doing it and all that sort of stuff which would always be very helpful in these scenarios so I must say I know this is pretty I uh, know obviously this is quite quick anyway but I think probably the best thing I could probably say for me personally, would be I think I would be from the the Vale, and I think the um, I would um, I would have my loyalty to House Aaron, and I would um, serve them well. If my liege lord had uh, ordered me to raise an army for him, I think I would. Also, I must say actually, um, I wouldn't be important or rich or anything like that I would be a um, someone who lives in a little village most likely you know kind of like you know doing what needs to be done you know kind of living off the land maybe having a little bit of a small holding you know kind of doing what needs to be done to survive you know all that sort of stuff and I think if needs be if I was told I needed to get involved in something I think I would you know I think I would do my duty for my um, for my lord and um, everything like that, and yeah, I do, yeah, and I think it's you know it'd be lovely to be able to kind of like just imagine sitting there and you know and doing all that needs to be done. But yes, anyway, um, 
like I said, this is just going to be like a little bit of a video about kind of like where I think I'd be from. Um, if what I'm going to do over the next um, couple of weeks, hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything works well today, I'm going to start carrying on with my um, videos that I did a couple of years ago about character form at Game of Thrones and uh, kind of like their life and you know what's gone on their, in their lives. I think previously I did Robert Baratheon and Brendan, Brandon Stark, sorry, and I think they did quite well. So fingers crossed I'll be able to carry on doing those because they were I enjoyed doing them immensely. So, um, but also I have something else I'm thinking about doing, which is um, I'm not only going to talk about the big people that have been, you know, kind of out in uh, the, the the big, you know, the bigger story like Ned Stark, like Robert Raffin, like Jon Snow, like, you know, Tyrion Lannister and all that sort of stuff, which, of course, they're very interesting, of course, and everyone wants to know about them. But I'm also interested in the little people. So, if you've ever wanted to be a blacksmith or a, um, or a stable boy or a tavern wench or whatever, and if you've ever wanted to see what it would be like to live in Westeros or even in Essos, um, don't forget Essos, Essos is of course very interesting as well, we'll have to have a look into that as well. But if there's any anywhere that you'd like to think that may be interesting to see what your life would be like as a Westerosi person, please contact me and I will see what I can do about creating your life in A Game of Thrones. But, like I said, um, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be doing a couple more of these videos if you've enjoyed it please leave a like a comment or even a subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you have a wonderful week and I shall as I do at the end of each and every one of my videos I'll give you a little salute and say goodbye goodbye